Yo, what is up fam? My name is Justin and this is Jchunk TV. I had to delay this video because I got a nasty throat infection that sent me to the hospital, but... I'm back. Let's go. Today, we're gonna look at five different ways to style the Dr. Martin's 1461. And to celebrate the docs and the people that would heal my throat infection, please enjoy the slideshow of doctor memes while I finish the intro. The specific pair I am using for this vid is a collab with CDG Ohm, which is slightly chunkier and has this angled stitching on the toe cap, but any 1461s will work. Let's go to outfit one. Generally, derbies or lace-ups have a more formal feel to them, but I feel like the very definition of streetwear though is taking traditional pieces of clothing and styling it in unconventional ways, like this outfit, which is far from formal. It's a minimalist look that can be worn in many situations. Even the regular 1461s are bulkier than most derbies, so pairing it with relaxed fitting clothes helps the shoes look more balanced and blend in, rather than giving you Mike Wazowski feet. Somebody. Up top, I layered a boxy t-shirt over long sleeve thermal. This is a good way to stay warm, but also lightweight during the fall. This outfit has no graphics, patterns, or logos, so to spice it up, I decided to use textures. The white long sleeve thermal is semi-patterned with a waffle knit, and the t-shirt over top has this crazy, almost suede-like texture to it. Breaking up an outfit with different colors also adds depth to it. We have the white and black contrast up top and the brown Uniqlo wool pants to contrast the black pieces. Honestly, in darker outfits and especially all black, you need to use a lot of textures or else it's hard to pull off unless you're like Kim Kardashian. The brown and black are similar, but different enough so you can clearly make out each piece of clothing within the outfit. It's kind of like cheese pizza, that's your all black, versus meat lovers, colors and shades. But we all know the meat lover that Kim Kardashian is. So hey, maybe that's a bad analogy. Well, let's go to outfit two. We're gonna ditch the minimalism and dive right into the streetwear pool with this outfit. Bruh. Starting with this blue Hawaiian shirt button down from Brain Dead Summer 19, I believe. Now the print itself is pretty silly. It's just a bunch of cows all over in brown and a volt-ish green. There's also this text on it which says, a magic right to exercise the spirits of murder, violence, and creephood, which is a stance against animal cruelty. I love wearing this shirt to vegan restaurants and then I eat them by whipping out a meat lover's pizza. Bruh. I like the Hawaiian shirt combination with the dogs. You know, collared shirts and leather shoes being a very norm core kind of combination, but then you style it with the funny pro-vegan shirt, the chunkier Dr. Martens, and it has a counterculture feel to it. I chose some light wash, straight fit Levi's 551s to contrast the dark blue top and the black shoes. You know, breaking up the outfit a bit. But at the same time, having the shades of blue does make it look a bit more uniform. Similar tones in one outfit, like shades of blue in this one, or grayscale, or earth tones, that's the basics to styling colors. Let's touch on the accessories. The black leather shoulder bag is there to match the shoes. In dress wear, one of the classic rules is to match your belt with your shoes. So black leather shoes pair well with black leather belts. You can't see my belt, so the bag serves that purpose here. It's a streetwear take on a dress wear rule. How about that? It's funny though, I thought I was so sick for wearing this outfit, but then I saw the similarities to this photo of Mr. Krabs. Bruh. And I've been questioning my identity as a fashion YouTuber ever since. All me are the sunglasses are the cherry on top. Shades, shoulder bag, Hawaiian shirt, the ultimate vacation dad outfit. For outfit number three, we're gonna go with something you can wear during those colder days and nights. This is actually a very affordable outfit and might be one of my favorites of this whole vid because of how simple and experimental it is. Let's start up top where we have a flannel overshirt layered over a turtleneck. Both pieces from Uniqlo. The flannel obviously says, oh yeah, I'm just gonna chop some timber with the boys, eh? But the turtleneck says, well, it actually sings, I'm just saying you can do better. Bruh. <laughs> Like, are you kidding me? A uh, tree chopping R&B artist 
Should we just end the video right here or? All joking aside, in the last two outfits, we talked about the importance of contrast. You know, contrasting materials and contrasting shades. Contrast is super important. And in this outfit, we are contrasting proportions. The slimness and length of the turtleneck helps exaggerate the wide and boxy overshirt. It's kind of like how you don't notice how big Yao Ming is till you see him next to Shaq. It's an optical illusion, and to me it looks pretty cool. I kept with the light blue jeans because I wanted to contrast the dark shoes and tops. I think some light gray dress pants would also work well here as it pairs nicely with the Dr. Martens. I would just stay away from any checkered or patterned pants because it will clash with the flannel overshirt. In general, you don't want to wear more than two patterns in one outfit. Outfit number four, we're bringing back the brain dead graphics in the form of military pants and going for a futuristic military streetwear look. So Dr. Claus Martin was in the German army in World War II and he redesigned the military boot for comfort after injuring his foot. Not only is it in its history, but I definitely get some military vibes whenever I see Dr. Martens. So it's Def's on brand to style them with colors like olive and more rugged materials like these pants, which are a cotton twill. Personally, I'm just waiting on the John Cena x Dr. Martens collab. Get it? Germany, World War II. Not cheese. And who can you not see? And his name is John C. Obviously these pants are a statement piece and I know I bring them up all the time, but it's honestly one of my grail pieces of clothing and it makes for some fun and unique outfits. Up top, to contrast the loud statement bottoms, I kept it simple and warm with this Lululemon crew neck. Really dig the gray and olive combo. Crewnecks are pretty lit because you can wear a chain over top, something that looks a bit cringier when you try it with hoodies. Also, I find crewnecks have more of a minimalist feel to it, which is perfect for pairing with statement pieces. This outfit is great when you want just a bit more attention because you lacked it in your childhood. Ha 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 ha. Last but not least is a simple three-tone grayscale outfit that anyone can recreate and look fly in. I think it's a great look for a date to show that you're fashionable without your date asking you why there's mushrooms on your pants. Um, first off, it's actually fungus. The base layer is a gray thermal Henley by Fog Essentials. I like this long sleeve a lot because the buttons and the waffle texture is a subtle but nice touch. It also has Fog Essentials branding on the back, but it's very small and not obnoxious like some of their other pieces. Any gray long sleeve is a good alternative here. Just pick one that's slightly oversized. Some would say the safe choice here is to go with some indigo raw denim. I would say there's nothing safe about going raw. Bruh. So instead, I went with some wide fit crop trousers by Uniqlo U. Dress pants have that smart casual look to them, but because these fit so wide, like myself, they don't look that smart, more casual than anything. I got these hem so that it shows off the shoes more. And I like the fact that you can see the white socks in between so that it visually separates pant from shoe. It also gives you that three-tone grayscale look even without wearing the white jacket. But obviously with the jacket, it's a much more balanced grayscale look and that's 100% the way I would style it. The jacket is by Stone Island, which is pricey, but any white puffy jacket will do. You want it to be puffy because it will match the proportions of the wide fit pants. The taper to the pants will look more gradual than say wearing a thin windbreaker. Don't go too puffy though, or I'll ask you to change my winter tires. Noni. Fucking Michelin man, a looking ass boy. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed the five different ways to style Dr. Martin's 1461. Comment your favorite fit, one, two, three, four, or five. I try to make streetwear content like three times a month, but really it ends up being like two. But hit that subscribe button to not miss a thing. Until next time, peace. See you soon, boy.